Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, just do my thing. Uh, so here it is. Um, <clears throat> in my opinion, humanity has a tendency to seek out vengeance and they like to feed off of anger. <clears throat> um, I do too, I know, uh, at times. It's not good. It's not healthy, and um, I don't recommend it or condone it, and I don't think we should be perpetuating it, but I still do it from time to time. Um, you know, this is why it's not good, though, because that, that keeps the cycle of violence and hate and pain going. This is why in the Bible, I believe it's said to turn the other cheek, to not be violent, to be a peacekeeper. <clears throat> so anyway, with that basis, I want to talk about <clears throat> some strategy and um <clears throat> you know what i think could be perhaps a more efficient way to go about solving some of these problems here on mankind um just a different way of doing things because i see a lot of attention being put to um talking about the problem and essentially blaming people for the problem and exposing the evil that's going on in the world which, which is good and it, and it need that needs to happen um but it's been going on for some time you know i think especially here in america the consensus what i feel what i see um people are, are pretty aware that there's some bogus shit going on <clears throat> everybody's aware of the problems with food with with rent with corruption with a lot of these things um so this is not new news and it's not if you continue to speak about this stuff because it's negative in nature, um, it's going to bring about a negative vibe in people. So when we keep on seeing all this corrupt stuff in the media and the news, even if people are trying to do it because they're trying to spread goodness and awareness and all this and that, it can still bring about a negative vibe, <laughs> which takes away from your creativity, which takes away from your joy, which takes away from your love. Um <clears throat> And again, it, that needs to happen. There does need to be that element of awareness and exposure. Um, I think that we've already done that. I think the next step, though, is to focus focus on solutions, talking about solutions first. We all need to start talking about what we can do and what we want to do, you know, and what people <clears throat> are willing to do. That, I think, is the next step and actually coming up with a real tangible solution to some of these problems that are looming in our future. And remember, for those of you who know a little bit about this, this deep Illuminati game or whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, they give us hints. They, they give us foreshadowing. They tell us what's going to happen. They dangle, they dangle ways for us to get out and they also dangle ways for us to be trapped. You know, because they're not the ones, we're our own worst enemies. Like everything that's happening in America... As much as people don't want to hear it, we're responsible. We're the ones that have allowed these politicians and these organizations and these corporations to grow at what point they've grown to. We're the ones that keep buying into them. We're the ones that keep paying them attention. We're the ones that keep talking about them. We're the ones that keep paying <sighs> attention. You know, the taxes thing, it's complicated because there's ways that they can orchestrate and ostracize and criminalize and all this and that. But there are also ways that you can limit the amount of taxes we give them. And you can also detach and <clears throat> essentially boycott certain corporations and organizations that have been proven and shown to be completely nefarious and work on building organizations and businesses that are not nefarious and that are completely transparent and are here to actually help humanity. <clears throat> These are the type of things that are really going to bring about a new world. Um, and I think it's dangerous to keep on talking about all this negative shit without having some solutions because nothing's going to get solved and it does bring about a heaviness. So <clears throat> that's all I want to say. I don't know exactly how it's all going to get solved. I know hemp has got to have some part to play in all of this because it's just the one plant that can do so many freaking things. The marijuana, I mean, the, the weed thing is, is now being flourished all over America and probably spread to the rest of the world. It's being legalized. More people are aware of it. So it, it, it's coming, you know, in what shape or manner, how soon is up to us. You know, hemp does not get you high. It can help cure cancer. You can build everything essentially from it. You can, you know, get, you know, 
power generators. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. So, you know, just look into it, man. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. That's almost, I think that's part of the problem is there's so many things you can do with it. It's hard to focus on one essential solution. But the one thing that I think we all can agree upon is seeming to be a looming problem is the food shortage. Is the fact that food prices have gone up and the amount of food in packages has gone down and only seems to be getting worse. And now we've had a huge flood in California where we have farmers in, in California saying that they have thousands of acres of food that's destroyed. And they're talking about it's going to have a global effect on the food. It's going to be a, a global food crisis, essentially. So <clears throat> and that just happened. So we haven't seen the actual effects of what that's going to do. Um, so that's just going to compound things to whatever else is already going on. So we know that's going to happen. And it's March here. I mean, it's March everywhere, but here it's springtime in America. So it's the perfect time to start growing food and, and you know, getting your gardens together and, and organizing and all these things. So in my mind, you know, it's, it'd be wise for us all to start contacting our city council members and finding places within these cities to develop community gardens and start growing our own food in all of these own cities. <clears throat> you know, um, and if you can open it up in a way to allow anybody to come in and work, you know, maybe give them, you know, certain ability or accessibility to access the food based on how much they work, just simple exchanges, you know, common sense things, simple shit um, to help give people something good to do with their time and also to help provide a way for the people to eat. Um, then again, this is a program that once it becomes more successful and powerful, we could take this and move it overseas and start helping starving children. Um, so yeah, I just encourage you guys to just focus more on solutions and don't get too bogged down in all the negative and the nitty gritty and all the pain and despair. And I know it's hard because I, I get lost in it all the time, but there, every problem is an opportunity in disguise and there's a solution to everything. We just got to use our heads and apply it. So, all right, y'all take care. Bye.